Okay, uh, we're going to talk a little bit uh, about some audit sampling. Uh, our mean per unit method, our ratio method, and our difference method. This is coming from the Principles of Auditing, 18th edition, by Ray Whittington and Kurt Painey. And if you have that book, we are looking at problem 9-44. So, we have, in this case, uh, our auditor has randomly selected and audited a sample of 100 of the company's accounts receivable. They have 3,000 accounts with a total book value of $3 million. Uh, it's been determined that the tolerable misstatement uh, is $250,000. During our sample results, we have an average audited value of $990.00 and an average book value of $998. So we want to calculate our accounts receivable estimated uh, audit value and projected misstatement using first the mean per unit method, then the ratio method, and then finally the difference method. So first one, the mean per unit uh, method, we're going to estimate the total population and we're going to use that sample audited mean as an estimate of the true population mean and two we're going to extend this estimated population mean by the number of items in the total population so in this case we are going to have our nine hundred and ninety dollar average audited value times our three thousand accounts so our estimated value is going to be two million nine hundred and seventy thousand dollars. Our projected uh, misstatement is going to be the our client's book value minus the estimated audit value. So we had a book value of three million. Format this real quick. So our estimated projected misstatement is going to be our, our book value minus our estimated value. So we are estimating we're going to have a $30,000 projected overstatement. Okay, so next we're going to use the ratio method. So we will, first we're going to uh, project, the, project our misstatement. So um, our formula using the ra uh, ratio method is to take our sample net misstatement divided by the book value of the sample and we're going to take that value times the population uh, of the book value. So to calculate our sample net misstatement we're going to have we did a hundred units times our variance, which is 990 minus 998, that's going to give us an equal to a negative 800, our sample net misstatement. Okay, The book value of our sample is our 100 units, oops, equals, sorry, equals 100 units times $998, which here, I'll pop up here again to remind you, is our average book value. Okay, so our book value sample is 99,800. Our projected misstatement is going to be equal to our net misstatement, sample net misstatement. Okay, we're going to divide that by our book value of the sample. Okay, and then we're going to take that value times our three million dollar value and we would we're go around that baby so it gives us basically a twenty four thousand dollar and $24,048 misstatement. And then, of course, our estimated audit value is going to be our $3 million minus 
minus our misstatement. So we're going to have an estimated value of two million nine hundred seventy-five thousand nine hundred fifty-one bucks, and that's going to be our projected audit value. That's going to follow. If you remember at the beginning of our problem, we talked about our value of our misstatement, tolerable misstatements, two hundred fifty thousand. So that value of twenty-eight thousand or twenty-four thousand being uh, misstatement is going to follow within our tolerable risk. Okay, finally, we want to uh, calculate what our projected misstatement is going to be using the difference method. So we have our, in this case, our projected misstatement is going to be equal to our sample net misstatement that we calculated in, in part B divided by the sample items, our number of sample items we took, times our population items. So in this case, we're going to have a negative 800. And we are going to divide that by our sample size of 100. Take that times our population size of 3,000 accounts receivable. So our risk, our uh, projected overstatement in this case is 24,000. So our uh, misstatement we're going to calculate at our 3 million. And then in this case I'm going to do a plus because it's a negative amount there so our amount of misstatement is going to be estimated or I mean our value is going to be at two million nine hundred seventy six thousand is our projected um, projected amount okay so that is what we would value there so that is we come out if you notice here we come out pretty darn close to the same value under all three methods under the mean method we had a thirty thousand dollar estimate of misstatement for a value of two million nine hundred seven not two million nine hundred seventy thousand in our ratio method we had a projected misstatement of twenty four thousand and forty eight dollars so two million nine hundred seventy five thousand and in our difference method we came up with two million nine hundred seventy six thousand so using all three of those methods we came out pretty darn close to the same and therefore we think there's a pretty good confidence that our that is what an accurate value would be.